Hey everyone, I am Brandon Turkus and I am here at the Salzburg Ring outside of Salzburg, Austria, and I'm joined by Dirk Hecke. He is the Vice President of Engineering for BMW M, and we are looking at this, the new BMW M2. You can see that it is covered in camouflage. This is not production final, but Dirk is gonna walk us through some of the big changes that are happening for this year. So we want to show the new M2 in the camouflage because we want to get you the feeling for the drivetrain and the driving performance of the car. The new M2 will have a lot of components from the M3 and M4. So in the drivetrain, but also in the chassis. And we have the same engine like in the M3 and M4 with a different power. So this is really kind of just a scaled down, shorter wheelbase M3. That's right, oh. that's right. The wheelbase is shorter of about um, 110 millimeters. So let's talk about what's changed aesthetically. Obviously you have much larger, much more prominent fenders. You have a much more aggressive fascia. Yes. And this was presumably done for both cooling and aerodynamics. Both, but also for a very bold standing and design of the car. I think if you also take a look on the predecessor M2, that was a statement six years ago, and we want to continue with the next generation of the M2, this feeling, this boldness on the road and on the track, and therefore we uh, take a very wide body, new parts in the body, a new front, a new end, um, to get this um, next M2 feeling and design. Is there anything that's especially unique that's new for BMW M on this car, or is this really just a case of taking what is really well known with the M3 and M4 and applying it to a new vehicle? Uh, what is new? So this car is for the first time standard with an adaptive uh, damper control system. Overall, we take our M tools, our M um, possibilities to get this new car on this high um, performance level and with this preciseness and, 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 and feeling on the, on the track, especially. That's great. Well, thank you very much for, for helping us out with this. I'm going to be driving this car around the Salzburg ring in just a little while, and you can read about that entire experience on MotorOne.com. But in the meantime, be sure to follow, like, subscribe, do all of those things to get more of our content in your feed.